Get on in here. I think I got it fixed. We had a low, low, low internet connection. Don't know why. Who knows? Get on in here. Let me get this straightened out. There we are. <clears throat> anyway, it's been a busy morning. Busy morning up here on the mountain. Good morning, Jan. There's Liz. Y'all say a prayer for Liz and her family. Her her paternal grandmother passed away this morning. She'd had a stroke last week and she went to be with Jesus. Grandmothers are important people in our lives. I tell you what, if it had been for my grandmother, I don't know that we'd be here today. She was a good woman. And I know that that Liz feels the same way about her precious grandmother. You know, mm. my grandmother lived to be almost 99 years old. She was uh, just a few weeks from her 99th birthday. And she was always good, always good. I don't think I ever heard her raise her voice. Patty and I have said that many times. She was just a good person. And she wanted all of us to be good, too. So, today's Tuesday. And it's, it's plan and play day. And I've been doing a little bit of both this morning, which is always fun. And, you know, we have a whole year's worth of <clears throat> whole year's worth of of habits that we practice and sometimes we have to think about those habits three months in advance because you all know we live in a wonderful economy in the United States it's a capitalist economy and in order to pay people who work with me and help me with the curriculum and help me with everything. We need to sell a product and make a profit and and do the best we can to just pay people. We don't make a bunch of money, but we make enough to pay salaries. And that's a, that's a good way to live. Somebody had said once more time, why don't you just develop a nonprofit? And I said, why? That's not the way we are in the United States. Nonprofits, you know, hospitals are nonprofits. They gouge us to death. But we live in a capitalist society and we buy things from China and it takes three months to get things here from China. And if we didn't have trade with China, we wouldn't have Walmarts, we wouldn't have general dollar stores, we wouldn't have any of that because we haven't had any manufacturing in this country. Now, if we get manufacturing back going, we might be able to buy things here. But that's still probably a couple of years down the road before we can get our manufacturing back up to speed. And I'm hoping that's going to that's going to be soon and we keep looking for products here. We really do. Our um our calendars are made here. Our feather dusters are made in Canada. So we're staying on this continent. But the main thing is we make a pro we sell a product and that product gives you a sense of happiness when you use it whether it's a toilet bowl brush that does what it's supposed to do or it's a mop that does what it's supposed to do well we don't have that mop anymore but let me put this one up here a mop the main thing is, it makes you happy. And isn't that what we all live for? My cushion in behind me is not doing right. Anyway, <clears throat> so having a tool that makes you happy, that gives you a sense of accomplishment. Yes, Nebraska is having major flooding, folks. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And above all, are you ready to evacuate in the event of flooding? So 
think about putting together your evacuation control journal, your emergency control journal, and we have them in stock. We have red ones and black ones and purple ones and blue ones. Now, back to what I was talking about, things making us happy. Well, our multi one makes these tools empower us, but they also make us smile when we use them. And isn't that a wonderful way to clean house with a smile on your face? Um, what was it from Snow White Whistle While You Work? Well, I don't know how to whistle, but if you feel good enough to whistle, wow. I remember Justin's granddaddy, Ellie, he used to whistle all the time. And he had this little whistle that just, you knew it was him when he whistled it. Now, let me tell you some of the deals we got going on. Silver rags are half price. They make you happy when you use them because it doesn't take a whole lot of elbow grease and you don't have to use any chemicals. Uh, we have uh, our Fly Lady Complete Cleaning System. The Complete Cleaning System is $75 off. That's a great deal. It's a great deal. Calendars are $10. If you haven't gotten your calendar, I want to get rid of all of them. I don't want to throw any of them away. So get your calendar now for $10. Three month, three, two and a half months are already gone. <clears throat> so get your calendar. And I know you've been trying to do without for two months. Not good. You're just making it hard on yourself with your procrastination. Will you ever bring back the shopping bags? I don't know yet. We're looking at some different things in shopping bags, but we don't know until we find it. But today, let me get back to what I was talking about. Today, I've been having fun looking at new products. And Justin brought me a couple up. One of them I can talk to you about. One of them I can't just yet. But the newest one, since we don't have this in stock is a water bottle. Now, our habit for June is drinking our water. Got it? June is drinking our water, and I want to have this in stock by June. And they found a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, water bottle. And the water bottle, I have it full of water, doesn't leak. It doesn't leak. Look at that. It has a lock on it right there that the top won't accidentally flip up. Let me unlock it. Now, we haven't bought this yet. I'm just showing it to you. But watch this. Did you see it? <laughs> and it has a little drinking spout. And yes, it has water in it. I'm going to pour some in my hand. Oops. It has water in it. And it doesn't leak. <coughs> How cool is that? How cool is that? We put our water bottles in our purses, in our diaper bags. They fall down. It is a... There we go. I'm back. I had to close it down and bring it back. But it's a cool tool that doesn't leak. And we can get it in different colors. So what color should we get it in? We are all, yeah, Fly Lady, Do Fly Lady Dolls were funny. It was the Fly Lady Dolls. Okay, people are asking questions about our shipping. We charge you what FedEx charges us. We don't make any money on shipping. And our FedEx people say not every, you're the only people that do that. Now, we do have a handling fee which covers um, people who pack things and boxes, that sort of thing. But we don't make any money on FedEx. What? is it's um 
what is it the water bottle is 16 ounces 16 ounces I think it's 500 milliliters but 16 ounces and this is a good size it fits in our hand our other water bottle which I have an old one here this one was fat and we had a 32 ounce that was really fat but this one this one is 16 ounces and it doesn't like that's what I wanted I wanted that was my parameters for them so we can get them um, we're gonna start with two colors we're gonna start with a a guy color which will probably either be silver or a gray or a um, I want to get a fly lady color too, either hot pink or purple and that way you know it's your water bottle because nobody's gonna have a purple water bottle that's powder coated this is a powder coat which is good it'll protect it tell the doll story they're saying <laughs> well <clears throat> Jack wanted to get something funny for me and he found a company that would make us fly lady dolls fly lady dolls and I don't even have one anymore I probably do at the office but the fly lady doll was a little like beanie baby type of doll and she had wings and she was pointing her finger but cartoon characters only have three fingers do I have a cartoon character yeah, let me let me get it right here. <clears throat> so here's the Fly Lady cartoon character. Well, you see this hand right here. When they made her, it made her look like she wasn't pointing a finger, but she was flipping somebody off. And I looked at it and just died laughing. None of us believe, could, could believe that they came in looking like Fly Lady was flipping people off. And at that point, I had to say, we can't buy these anymore. <laughs> can't buy them. And we ended up going to several conferences for three or four years. And we would take the dolls with us. And we couldn't sell them because Fly Lady's flipping people off. But we gave them away to little kids that were um, irritable, rolling around in strollers, not feeling too good about being at these conferences. And we probably gave away a thousand of them. But we're totally out of them now. And, but it was a funny story. And it'll probably go in my biography, my autobiography sometime. Fly Lady Flip Off. Well, the only kind of flipping I want to do is this kind of flipping <laughs> oh there's my brother-in-law my sister's flying from Houston to Birmingham so every, Justin and them everybody's home everybody's gonna be home soon um, you know I liked all my ducks in a row isn't that awful so we're looking at the water bottle we're looking at something else too which I'm excited about but <laughs> here's the thing you have to plan and planning you don't things just don't happen over overnight you know you have to think about it newspapers well not newspapers magazines they're six months out six months out and we don't really plan six months out, but we can plan three or four months out. We're already working on our new calendar for this year, for 2020, because we start selling it in June. Yeah, the Fly Lady patches were a fun idea too, but Fly Lady doesn't do well being embroidered. She gets, she gets little uh, vampire teeth on her if they don't embro if they embroider up and down my brother-in-law knows about that sort of thing he he did he embroidered some aprons for me but they've got to be done the right way or it just if it's sideways it works but if it's up and down she gets vampire teeth but I have something else to show you this came in yesterday I posted it on Facebook but not, not all of you probably saw it but 
we got the Chaos Cure book right here in check. Now, Justin and Robert ran it through a translator, and the ladies had already told me. it's. I thought it was Hungarian, but it's not. It's Czechoslovakian. It's Czech. But it's still got the cute pictures in it and all kinds of stuff. So if you know anybody who speaks Czech, tell them the book is available now. And we're we're selling the book in different languages. We're, we're getting it translated. Somebody in that country who has a publishing house and wants to translate it, that's how it has to be done. It has to go through my agent out of New York. But isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? She's swinging everything. Isn't that what we do? We bring home the bacon and fry it up in a pan. That's, that was a song when I grew up. Well, it's... So planning... And then taking a little time, and planning can be fun. It can it can be a great way to think about the future. So think, even if it's just next week. So sit down today or tomorrow and think about what you're going to cook next week. And you can do it in fun ways. You can take little cards and and make some note cards on your favorite meals. Yeah, I sent all the Fly Lady Mentors dolls a few years ago for Christmas, along with some other things. Yeah. And we had one lady who kept, who put the doll in her room, whatever zone we were in. But you can do that with the Fly Lady logo, too. She would tape it up in her room. Do you have wedding planning help? I've started a wedding control journal. Laura has contributed to it, and Laura's planning a wedding for June for her daughter. Um, maybe I'll get that finished up this spring for everybody. But how do you become a mentor? Well, they're not taking any new mentors right now, I don't think. And and that's, that's um, my nephew Alex's company. I don't have anything to do with it except Patty and I interviewed a hundred people. There we go. I'm back. Uh, well, I've almost finished the wedding control journal. Main thing you got to figure out is how many people are coming. Yep. How many people are coming? That's And where are you going to have it? But you can take the holiday control journal and adapt it too is, a, is another great way. Maybe we could have Alex come on. He likes social media. Not. <laughs> That's what he posted the other day. I hate social media. And yeah, we all work in social media. Um, an apron with pockets. I just don't like aprons. They feel frumpy on me. I just never have liked aprons. I wish I could find a sewing company here that would that would make me some vest. Tell the apron story. What's the apron story? Okay, sister, you're going to have to remind me of what I've slept since then. I don't know what the apron story is. Y'all saw me in an apron back there before Christmas, and it looked awful. Well, see, the thing about aprons, if you are if you have, have big girls, the apron gets crossways on you, and you only got one area covered. And I just don't like aprons, but I like a vest. I, I used to make myself smocks and I waited tables. Oh, I have to tell y'all a story. And you have to pray for this, this, this lady that waited on us last night. Robert and I went to eat at a place we eat often. And they have a Monday through Thursday, they have a salad, salad bar and a hot bar. And we usually get that and I order some extra, extra shrimp and... This poor lady was 
so stressed, just stressed. I think she may have had too many tables, but she was running around and the thing that got me was that she was beating herself up. She was just beating herself up. Every time she made a mistake, she'd say, I'm just half brain today, or I, I don't know what's going on. I just can't think today. And it was just one mistake after another. It was almost as if it were an avalanche of mistakes. And I was just really saddened by all of it. But watching it happen in front of me, it, it was contagious. It was, it was just horrible. And I ordered this tea that has half lemonade and half unsweetened tea in it. And I got, the glass got filled up with more unsweet tea and which diluted my lemony flavor. And I had to go to the bathroom and I asked Robert to guard my tea and not let her put any more unsweet tea in it. And so he's, he's put the tea beside him. And then when I got back from the bathroom, he pushed it toward me. Well, their tables are uneven. They're made to look like shiplap, like shiplap behind me, but it's on a table surface and it's fake. <clears throat> and he slid it toward me, at which point it got one of those grooves and just in slow motion, it just fell over, just fell over. And he felt so bad. And I knew where they had the, we go there often. And I knew where they had their cleanup rags and all kinds of stuff. And I just started getting it up before they could, I didn't even tell anybody. We just, it, it rolled into the seats of two chairs that we weren't sitting in. And he felt so bad. But her being so stressed out. And that's what happens to y'all. When you're stressed out, accidents are happening all around you, all around you. So you've got to learn to slow down and breathe. I mean, she even took our order on a napkin and then she laid the napkin down and our order didn't get put in. <laughs> I mean, it was just total chaos. And I felt for her and I, I didn't know how to stop it. I didn't know how to stop it. If if she were a fly baby, I would have known how to stop it. But I can't force fly lady on her. The main thing is to breathe, to stop and breathe and take a few minutes to just not even even one minute can can make you <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm going to get a drink of water out of my... I'm testing the water bottle. Yep. It's cold. And it doesn't leak. So you just got to... There's my sister, Susan. She's on her way back to Birmingham. So taking a few minutes to collect your thoughts and... Maybe get a new ticket book um, to just think about the people around you. Simple little things like that can help you in situations where you're stressed out. I remember one time I lost something and it was at work and I was working for Mr. Whitfield. Long, long time ago, Justin was a baby. Well, Justin was in, he was in elementary school. That's a baby. And I laid down our petty cash bag. A customer came in and I laid it down somewhere and I couldn't find it. And then I couldn't think about where it was. Now sure enough, it was where it was supposed to be, but I was so stressed out, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it because I was stressed out. And when you're running around like a chicken with its head cut off, you can't see anything. So we got to put on some happy music. And I don't have my music in here. I'm sorry, I don't have it in here. Put on some happy music and just, 
just calm yourself down. However you have to do that. You know how you can calm yourself down, but you've got to step away from the situation. Got it? Now, plan your menus for next week. Get the groceries in the house for, for next week. Make sure you have everything in the house for this week. And you're going to make cooking so much easier on you when you have what you need. So take a few minutes right now to plan your menus and to yeah, call, yeah, reading a good book. Hey, read my Chaos Cure book. It's in short little segments. It's fun. It's a fun read to just pick up. It's not going to suck you in because it, it's done in three to five hundred word essays. Music is wonderful. I like to listen to podcasts too. So folks, take a few minutes today and enjoy your, just chill a little bit. And if you didn't watch yesterday's video, get it. It's just, you can find it real easy by clicking on the videos on the face. There we go. I have reminders coming up to, to, to walk down the stairs and I've already gotten in eight trips up and down the stairs this morning. Okay, folks, everybody grab your, grab some water. <clears throat> And that's a good question. What's for dinner at your house? What is for dinner? I don't know what we're having tonight. I really don't. Because I hadn't thought about it. And I don't have it written down on my calendar. And I'm the worst procrastinator. There's, we eat out most of the time. Except in November when I'm cooking every night to show you. <coughs> Pardon me. It, what's happening with the video is my fault, folks. I had a reminder that pops up to go down the, the steps and it shuts it down. So it's all me. It's not Facebook. It's all me. I think there'll probably be some problems with um, after that bad person in New Zealand killed all those people in prayer there'll probably be some changes on Facebook. I don't know what it'll be, but things will be delayed a little bit. I don't really know why, but I mean, I know why, but I don't know how they're going to do it. Robert's at the grocery store right now. He's probably going to find something he wants for dinner and I get to cook. Ah, oh, I love BLTs and I hadn't thought about BLTs in a long time. Chicken chicken it's getting warm outside so maybe we can start grilling y'all have got some well balanced meals I'm really proud of you look at y'all Yeah, there was a study out yesterday about hitting the snooze button. Well, that's a snooze button that keeps messing up our video. It's because I didn't go down the stairs when it happened, and I should have done that. Should is a bad word. But I didn't do it because I'd already been, I was way ahead on my steps. And you see, the, the snooze button was for steps five and six, and I've already done eight. So I just needed to kill it, and I didn't kill it. <clears throat> well, y'all have a good day. And let's get some things done and have some fun doing it. My friend Tammy, she posted a, a, a tweet this morning. It says about choosing joy. Well, that's what we want, is to find joy in everything we do. Even if it's cleaning a toilet or mopping a floor, if you can have fun doing it, that's joyful. Yum. Y'all are making me hungry. I love you all. I will see you later.
Bye.